Hello guys, today we'll see how to create a free WordPress site. So without purchasing any domain hosting, we can start our own WordPress site using free domain and free hosting. So first of all, if you want to get a free domain, you can go to the site called freenorm.com. Open freenorm.com. Enter your required domain name. For example, uh, digitalpractice.ml. Click enter. It will show the availability whether it is available or not. So you should not enter the .com, .in, .org. So these are paid domains. Those are all paid domains actually. You need to go for some something like different extensions like .ml, .pk, .ga. These kind of extensions. Enter the domain name. Click check availability. If it is available, click this check out. Okay, click the checkout. Once you are done with this, select up to 12 months. Select up to 12 months free domain. Click this continue. Click this continue. Then you can do the registration using your social accounts already registered. Click login or use a social sign in. Click sign in with Google. Use one Gmail ID. Okay, so use one Gmail ID and sign in with Google. Verification link will be sent to your Gmail ID. You need to log in with Gmail and verify the domain. So this is the verification mail which we got. Click this mail. Click this link. So once it is done, it will be verified. Okay. So you can fill some basic details. Okay, once you are done with this, click complete order. Okay, so once you are done with the completion order, you can also go to the services, my domains and check your domain is registered or not. It is showing as registration date, expiry date. Okay, so one year we have, uh, one year we have taken the free uh, registration, we have done the free registration. Now what is the next step means, you need to go for the hosting infinity free dot net infinity free dot net you can open this site for free hosting okay so click this client area do the registration do the registration first you need to open infinity free dot net click sign up and do the registration this is the mail id i'm using you can use your email id Okay, so once you are done with this, again the verification mail will come to your mail ID. You need to verify this. Go to the verify mail address. Okay, your uh, mail ID has been verified. You can now create your hosting account. So click this create account now. Okay, so 
what you have to do here means you need to go to the custom domain custom domain enter your domain name digital practice dot ml this is the url we are using here uh, that means this is the domain we have purchased already domain we need to enter in the custom domain section click search domain digital practice dot ml is available okay so given account password so after this what you have to do mean just go to the my domain section and just go to the manage domain the manage domain here we have an option called management tools name servers in the name servers use name custom uh, use custom name servers so just you have to enter this name servers in the domains ns1 ns2 ns3 ns4 ns5 Click this change name servers. Okay. Once you are done with this, once you are done with this, enter the password. Okay. So your uh, account will be created. So first what we have done means we have created uh, we have purchased one free domain in freenam.com then we have set up the account in infinityfree.net so after setting up the account what we have done we came to the account section we have clicked the create new account okay and uh, we have added the name servers whatever the name servers are shown in this infinityfree.net this name servers we have to add in the domain okay in the domain where we have to add means go to the management tools this is the domain management tools name servers this name servers we got in the hosting settings while creating the account okay just get the name servers from hosting panel add this norms name servers in the domain like freenum.com name servers copy and paste all these name servers with one two three four five okay once it is done click this open control panel open control panel click this i approve click i approve thanks the, the panel will load now once you are done with this you will be getting an option called soft logos search for a software called soft soft Oculus app installer okay soft Oculus apps installer click this click this okay so once you click this you will be getting wordpress here click this install you will be getting wordpress here click install so installation url digital practice.ml in this url we need to install the wordpress and the site name is digital practice site description okay something like this you can write site description admin username i'm giving admin username as admin admin password as admin at the rate of one two three admin email id this is the email id that's it nothing to do more than this limit login attempts these things are not required just you can remember these points installation url should be your domain and to the site name site description give one admin username admin password once you're done with this click install
So it is successfully installed in case if you are getting an error in the middle, just you can refresh once and click install like I did just now. Once you are done with this, your site is ready. Now you can go to the digitalpractice.ml. Okay. Digitalpractice.ml is your site URL. Open this. You can check it where it is opening or not. Okay. So now the site is ready. Any WordPress site will be looking like this initially. Then we can add the pages, post, plugins, everything. So how to connect with the WordPress site backend means so you need to go to the WP slash or WP hyphen admin. WP hyphen admin or slash admin you can enter. Click this enter. Whatever the username password you created while installation uh, before the installation, those details you need to enter here. Admin is the username, admin at the rate of one to three we have given as a password. Use this password. Click login. Okay, so once you log in with the dashboard, once you log in with the dashboard, you can see the options like you can add the post, you can add the pages. So this is the process to create the WordPress site. So continuation of this particular section, we have another video like how to add the post clickings, pages, appearance, how to add the title tags, description tags, header tags, breadcrumb navigation, all this process. We have another video, you can just watch it. So uh, we have discussed about free domain and free hosting and how to link this free domain and free hosting after that how to install the wordpress site how to install the wordpress setup so all this process we have seen you can also do the same thing okay i hope you understand this okay yeah thank you